What's up, you guys? Today we are back in Toka Life World. Also, before we jump in, I would like to say I am doing a vo voiceover because I unfortunately forgot to turn off the microphone. What? Turn on the microphone and all the excitement. Also, apparently there's a new Sega Mini game out. Comment down below if you'd like to see me do that. Anyway, we are here to take a look at the Hot Springs location. Here on the store, this is what it is. It comes with one location and eight new characters. And surprisingly, well, not surprisingly, I don't I don't know what word I meant there, but this actually isn't something that I kind of predicted. Because, like, the last couple locations, I kind of felt like I predicted a bit. Because if you didn't know, I've actually treated multiple ideas to Tokoboka throughout the last couple years. Anyway, let's jump in because it does look to be super cute and fun. <clears throat> and it is in the wintry area, just like the other new locations. I still feel like they've got space to do a couple new locations in this area still. Before actually just adding a new section. So here we finally get Cloud Chill. I believe we didn't have it before. Like, I think we saw advertisement like things for it. But here it is. And we have these little lockers with various things, like clothes. <coughs> Sorry. It looks like maybe some robes or something. And here we've got candy and a candle. And that is a face mask and towel hoodie thing. I don't really know. We've also got robes and this really, really cute Onigiri character. I absolutely love him. Just the cute little piece of sushi Onigiri stuff. We also have popcorn up here, which I think is super cool. Like, in the movie theater, they have the popcorn. But now we get bags of it. I actually have a drawing of a box of popcorn in Tokoboka style on one of my Tokoboka Instagram accounts, which the link will be in the description down below. And there are cups of popcorn over there. <coughs> Sorry again. And over here we have the actual springs themselves. I really don't even remember what I was doing at what point. Okay, so that character has some cucumbers on the eyes, it looks like. And the three different springs actually look like maybe they have different temperatures. So the one I just set him in, I believe is supposed to be like really hot. Because there's a sign with a flame on it. The next one, I'm not sure because it just looks like it has some waves on it. And the very bottom one has a snowflake, so I assume it's meant to be cold. And swiping over here, we have some new characters. Also, I found this little guy just in the bush, I guess. <coughs> I didn't notice it at all. I was just swiping and found that cute little guy. There's an acorn. I really like that character and her hat and her hair. And her design's just kind of really cute. And there's a little polar bear. And honestly, this little area makes me think of a scene from a Tinkerbell movie, like the one where she goes to winter or whatever and finds her sister and all that. Just makes me think of where winter meets fall and whatnot. <coughs> Over here, I guess, is the animal section. We have a little sign. Then we have this little mountain guy. And honestly, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, hold up. Didn't we have a bigger version of that character in Toka Life Office, I believe? And I'm just swiping through trying to find him right now. Turns out that we do. Or it. I'm sorry. I don't I don't try to put genders on things. Especially things that don't necessarily have genders. <clears throat> anyway, panda, lion. It may not actually be a lion, but it makes me think of a lion. It kind of makes me think of lion from Steven Universe. And there's actually two others, and we also have this little box thing with eggs and a cute little bottle of water, which we've seen them before, but they are still, like, super cute. And I think it's actually labeled pocket water, and honestly, if Tokoboka ever wanted to make their own line of bottled water or something, I'd buy it. They could sell it exclusively at Target. I'd buy it. <coughs> Continuing on, however, there's another little baby panda that I'm going to put with this panda mama. And there's some really cute little creatures in the water. Like, I don't even know what that one was supposed to be. But it's so cute. And I kind of want one. We also have the sloth fish. And sloth crab. Sloth crab might just be my new favorite sloth creature in the Toka series. <coughs> it's just like, I don't know, so cute. The sloth fish, it's a little weird. But it is still cute because it's a sloth. And then in this thing, I guess it's supposed to be hot chocolate. But it looks like I'm mixing it with the water, and I didn't realize you could do that. Oh, my lord. 
I'm like so behind. Like I'm trying to watch everything and talk, and I'm like, hold up. There's some rocks you can move. I was just looking to make sure like I wasn't missing secrets or anything. And here it, there's what looks to be eggs in the spring with the bird. And I just kept trying to tap them to see if you could tap them to do anything. Even though I have tapping problems, it appears as though maybe you can't and they're just there to be there. Which is a little upsetting. I was hoping like some cute little baby birds, dragons. I really want to see Toka do dragons. Ooh, dragons in a Toka style. I'd love that. And yeah, this is the moment. He has a tree on his head. I also called him the grandpa of these two characters over here. And apparently Sloth Crab as well. He's part of the family. He's definitely part of mine. I don't know about y'all, but I, I want to be related to a crab sloth. <clears throat> and here I was trying to find like one of the scout looking characters from Toka Life Town. Because her, the character I picked up originally, her outfit looks very similar to theirs. But it was taking me a really long time to find one. So if you aren't familiar with the characters I'm referring to, just scroll back some videos and you shall find a video on Toka Life Town. And you can see the ones I'm referencing. But I do believe it was Toka Life Town that had some scout-like characters. And, like I said, it just looks like she's wearing a uniform very similar. Also, right here I just showed that I was actually playing this game earlier today and forgot to reset it before doing this. So that's just like a little Toka me that I made. Because that that's how I like to play Toka Life games. It's definitely Toka Life World. I mean, it's literally the only one I really play now. Just because I have everything right here. And I can customize the characters even more. Even though I've noticed there's a lot of hairstyles that we saw on various characters from other games. <clears throat> that aren't in the salon place in Toka Life City. So I really, really hope they update Toka Life World to include all those eventually. Because that would be a lot of fun. And here, I just now noticed that there's a tent behind the bush, and so I guess it's the little guy's tent. And it's kind of really cute, and I just noticed another face mask there. And I just find it really interesting how they're designed, like, I don't know how they present it. Yeah. Anyway, that has been Toka Life World Hot Springs, and it was actually really cool. I look forward to telling some stories there. If you have enjoyed this like I have, then please give it a thumbs up, comment down below any other videos you would like to see, and subscribe to become a Freaky Fabzillion. I love you guys. Bye!